Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's uh, Friday, great Friday, and the week. Fortunately, I actually have to work tomorrow, so... Eh, but it's okay, it's only one Saturday month. Not so bad. I'm going over to a friend's place, actually, on Saturday, so that'll be fun. But anyways, I digress. What I want to talk to you guys today was my ideal vision for the future. Now, this isn't even, like, too far in the future. I'm not talking, like, Star Trekian level of ridiculousness. I think there's just a couple things we need to really get nailed down and then hopefully we can reach a point where humanity can finally be free of a lot of things. What I'd love people to see, and this is something that always interests me, is people complain about places like Walmart taking jobs from small businesses and they do have a point. Walmart obviously does take jobs from a lot of businesses. But it's like why do these small businesses have jobs in the first place? Well, people have to do things to work, to make money so they can feed and yada yada people do jobs because they need to but what if they didn't need to do jobs what if every single amenity could be provided to every person on the planet now it's a bit of a stretch maybe not every person on the planet right away and i'm not thinking this is any sort of short-term goal uh definitely not but what i'm thinking is that we could get to the point where every person on the planet could want for nothing now it's not gonna be easy I have no idea, no real idea how to get there. But what I see is that we need two key advances to get to that point. I think this is really the one that needs to come first, and we can kind of figure everything out from there. We need AI. We need true AI that can handle things for us. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but we as humans suck at managing our resources. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out, that we're just not good at managing this planet's natural resources. So we need someone who can think a lot of different things at a lot of same times better than we can. Secondly, we need, do need advance is in robotics, which I think would come with the AI, I think, but I, I don't know. Again, I'm not an expert. Again, this is kind of more a philosophy standpoint of it, because again, I'm not an expert in anything. So if we, we saw a key growth in those two areas, everything else would flow from there, because with AI, we'd be able to have a system that could control the resources for us. And with robotics, we would have then the ability to actually manipulate those said resources. So all agricultural, all you know, water, all and other types of public service things like sewage treatment and you know any kind of you know power, any sort of manufacturing and food and everything would be handled. So then you ask yourself, well, what about the economy? What are people going to do for jobs? And it goes back to my question: Why do we have jobs? People wouldn't need to have jobs. I mean, scientists would still science. And firefighters, well, they wouldn't exist. And police would still exist. There's people out there who legitimately want to protect and serve other people. So these natural human tendencies would still, people would still gravitate towards jobs that they would like to do. But they wouldn't be jobs in the case that they have to do them. Like they have to do them or they will die. It's just in case they do them because they will then feel implored of their sense of humanity to do the things. Now, obviously, again, just having a sense of humanity, getting people to do things little far-fetched maybe but I have hopes okay there's no point in just what dwelling despair and thinking all humanity is lost I really love to see this vision of humanity come true and I think we're really close we've we've done a lot of advancements over the last hundred years and then starting in this century we've done even some more incredible things and I really love to see us reach that point where we can just we can free ourselves of these these pointless burdens that we put ourselves under and really allow every single person to just be an experience and just be able to actually enjoy life i know in here in north america this is you know obviously kind of a white person's perspective but here in north america we do have a very high standard of living and even this standard of living i'm sure would be great to a lot of other nations but i i don't think this is enough we have to go higher than this and so that's why i don't think we can look at the economy and say we got to focus on the economy no 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 why do we have get rid of this crappy economy thing let's transcend it let's go above it and hopefully make something better. So really love to know what you guys think about my ideas there. Um, obviously, I could expand on it a bit more, but that would take a lot of time. Uh, so let's continue the conversation in the comments down below. And just let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm smoking something weird or you think I'm onto something here. Again, let me know. See you guys later. Bye.